What's going on everyone? It is your commentator MVBC here bringing you a how to stream guide. I'm going to show you everything you need from start to finish including the equipment. Um, I just want to throw this little video up here real quick explaining what you need. So we're going to flip over to that right now. If you, if you don't have any of this stuff, this video is not going to help you. Um, you can try to match the settings if you have a different capture card. So let's jump right into it. We'll flip this over. So what you need guys is preferably the Elgato Game Capture HD. You can have the HD60, doesn't matter. Just have a capture card. I don't know if the other capture cards will run perfectly with the way these settings are, but you can try it and tell me how they work. So you need the Elgato. If you want a fresh smile, nice clean smile, I recommend that Sensodyne uh, toothpaste, extra whitening. They want my toothbrush sponsor just kidding but anyway you need the blue yeti microphone any microphone will work this is the one i recommend you can pick it up for about a hundred dollars now this is the blue yeti there is a blue snowball for about fifty dollars now or you can go with the secondary choice the astro a40s um i definitely recommend that one but you can use this one if that's all you have and thirdly but not last what you need is a computer um you do need a computer obviously make sure the specs are pretty good or you won't be able to stream and this guide will be completely useless to you um, we'll jump right into the settings what you're going to need is the OBS program open broadcast software I'll jump into that on my desktop so I was just showing what you need for now and we'll jump into the actual tutorial now what's going on blaze nation it is your commentator MVBC here bringing you a how to stream guide using OBS on to the, the streaming software twitch.tv um, I'm not entirely sure how you do it in MLG TV this is for twitch.tv so first off guys if you run into a problem where when you click on preview stream and it's going to take a second if you run into this problem and your screen does not pop up it says please wait it's loading whatever okay you see how my Xbox popped up and it's ready to go I'm going to hit stop preview I'm going to go down here, go to your Elgato Capture Game Capture HD. If this software is open when you're trying to run OBS, it will not allow you to actually preview your stream because the Elgato's attention is to the Game Capture HD software. So when people run into this problem, I'm just going to go ahead and show you how to fix it. We're going to go ahead and let the Game Capture pop up on the Elgato software. All right, it's on the Elgato software right now, and we'll go ahead and go to preview stream. I know this happened to a lot of people in my other guide. This is my 2015 guide. So it says devices in use by another program. To fix this, close out your Elgato software, stop the preview, hit Control Alt Delete, go to Task Manager, go to your processes. And make sure that your Elgato process is still not running. As long as your Elgato process isn't running, you should be able to unplug your USB that is to your Elgato. I know this happened to a lot of people. Plug it back in. Give it a couple seconds. Your monitor should be black at this time and it will pop back up. Click on preview stream and it'll say one moment please. There's your stream. There's how you fix that and now I'm actually going to show you guys the settings. That was the biggest issue in my 2014 um, how to stream guide. So let's jump right into it. First off you want to go to file, I mean go to settings. Go to your actual settings. Um, in general, you don't have to change none of this. Go to your encoding. This is really what matters. Um, you want to make sure your encoder is at 264. Um, you can use QuickSync or NVIDIA NVEC. I don't know. I'm not really sure what that does. I haven't ever used it. Use your constant bitrate. Enable your CBR padding. 
make sure your um, your max bitrate is at least 20% uh, of your internet if you have 20 upload you can do the math and figure out um, I only have 7.5 upload I use 3,000 kilobytes which would be 3 megabytes upload so that's about half of my internet 40% um, you can use a custom buffer size, some people do. If you do, try to set it like 1000 higher, that's what I'd recommend. Don't change none of this. In your broadcast settings, you'll have to click on live stream, click on your streaming, go to Twitch. And you'll have to download, um, what is that called? Um, I'm not exactly sure what the ping uh, finder is it'll tell you what your best server is usually for people that's on the East Coast it's New York or Ashburn Virginia that'll be your two best if you're lazy and you don't want to click on the link down below I'll definitely leave the link where you can see your pings um, you'll have to find your key stream your key for your stream it's on Twitch TV I'll leave a t tutorial how to do that I just don't really want to show my stream key so I'm gonna leave that out if you want to leave um, your video, if you want to save your broadcast so you can upload, you know, strictly broadcasted videos, your stream videos, just click on automatically save stream to file, go to browse. Um, you can put it virtually anywhere. Most people put it in a folder in their desktop or their documents. Just do as you please, put it wherever you want. If you want to save your stream, go to your video. Make sure you hit apply to all that before you go to video. Once you go to video and save your changes, you want to pick your video adapter, whatever it is. Um, the HD Graphics 4000 is a laptop graphics card, so I don't have the best, but I can still run pretty good settings. You want to put it at 1280 by 720 if you want to stream at 720p. If you want to stream at 1080p, it's uh, 1980 or 1920 by 1080 my bad and your aspect ratio will be 16 by 9 you want to resolution downscale to none you want to have it where your quality is at its peak and your frames per second can be 30 if you have a highly upgraded desktop you can run 30 frames per second I mean 60 frames per second but most people run 30 um, that's pretty much all the stuff you need to do for there if you have multiple monitors you can set that up but I only have one go to your audio uh, you want to push your you can leave these settings the same as well and once you first get into your OBS you'll actually have to pick your mic I use a microphone the Yeti this is my laptop mic um, you can kind of mess with these if you want if you need more uh, mic boost you go ahead and just up that one or two your desktop boost as well uh, for your hotkeys you can set these up to push to talk push to talk to mute unmute start your stream stop stream you can set these up they're pretty basic it's self-explanatory for your advanced you want to use your multi-thread optimization process priority if you have a good computer like above normal click on above normal if it's highly upgraded high um, I'm just gonna keep mine on normal I haven't had no problems neither should you 2000 for your scene buffering time you want this at 2000 milliseconds for the Elgato I'm not sure for all the other game captures, well, all the other capture cards, so you're just going to have to Google it, figure it out. I may be able to figure it out for you. I'll try to find some links. If not, I do apologize. Um, for your preset, this is your graphics card along with your CPU. Um, if you have a better computer, you can go down and down and down. If you have a, a not so well, a not so great computer, you want to move up. This is what's going to cause most of you, most of your lag. If you're skipping frames, you need to change this before anything else. Don't go tweaking all your settings because this will actually make your computer run a lot easier. So if you're having trouble, change it to super fast. If you're still having trouble, change it to ultra fast. I'm going to put this back down to 2000. Your keyframe key intervals, make sure that's on two. You want to use constant frame rate. You can use custom if you're if you're pretty familiar with this you can kinda mess with your encoding I don't you can allow 61 120 frames per second in your video entry um, if you have the computer to run it your audio 
offset guys your global audio offset this is the most important part I think for the Elgato you want to set this at 1500 so if you're Skyping with a friend or you're using um, TeamSpeak this is what's, what's going to make everything sync up because the Elgato is 1.5 seconds behind everything else so when you shoot somebody or you have an awesome moment your voice isn't going to be synced unless you have this global sync offset to 1500 that is 1.5 seconds so make sure that's on there and you don't have to change anything else for your quick sync encoder make sure you apply the settings once again before you go on to the next thing I'm just gonna hit no for your quick sync encoder I'm not really sure with this this is fairly new I didn't mess with this at all I don't think you should have to either microphone noise gate if you're having problems with some sounds coming up in your video you can close the threshold or open the threshold you can mess with those I found these default settings really good so that's everything for that now we need to go into the Elgato software itself we're gonna have to preview the stream you can't change anything unless you preview the stream uh, go ahead and right click on your video capture device hit properties go to your Elgato game capture make sure you're basic re resolution this is going to be your settings as soon as you pop this up make sure it's on 1280 by 720 and make sure your frames are 30 seconds click on the use buffering and make sure the milliseconds is zero just click it this is has something to do with to make the Elgato sync up better and go to output audio stream only make sure it's at negative 1500 seconds because if you don't it's already it's going to add another 1500 seconds so your game qual game sound will be three seconds behind your audio so adding a negative 1500 equals it out to where it's zero seconds behind and everything will be completely synced up if you want to change your settings in your actual Elgato make sure you're viewing your stream the way you're previewing it and then go to configure you can change your profile to 1080p and you can allow 60 frames per second here you can also tweak the brightness contrast saturation hue your audio I used to keep mine at 8 negative 8 decibels 18 decibels excuse me uh, you can go ahead and hit done I find that best for the sound um, your gamma that's gonna be your brightness if you use a chroma key here for like a green screen and you want to show yourself on the webcam I'll show that next I don't have a green screen but I'll show you how to set up the webcam just hit OK on these settings and for your video too I have to add so go to add video capture device cam and then you'll go to your webcam I only have my laptop camera here so it's not going to be the best quality make sure your resolution is 1280 by 720 for 30 frames you don't want to have different frame rates or different um, settings for everything or it's just going to throw everything off and you're going to skip frames so make sure all your frames per second and your resolutions are the same so once you add that you need to actually downscale your cam so hit edit scene and just hold shift and drag down the square that'll keep everything in a good resolution and you can base virtually put this anywhere you want everything should be synced up so if I clap my hands you'll hear it as soon as I clap my hands and you can put this wherever you want um, I don't have a stream overlay I haven't been able to stream because my internet is only 7.5 but you guys can use these settings and it's honestly the best everything synced up for an Elgato and I should have played this a long time ago I just never did anyway go ahead and click off your cam and you guys are set uh, that is everything you need to do for your Elgato game capture while using OBS um, there isn't anything else if you want if you don't have a global source this is like so you can add your Elgato just go to add video capture device name it Elgato and you click on your Elgato game capture and this way you can just click on your global sources and add it if you want to make a new scene it just makes things simpler but if you want to do everything you know manual just right click add and just go through your settings make sure your frames per second and your resolution is the same anyway guys this is MVBC out hopefully this tutorial cleared up a lot of problems that people were having in my last year's video um, I highly recommend 
everything in, that I showed you in this video. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. If you have any questions, just leave it down in the comment selection below and I'll get back to you and try to help you figure out them. Like I said, just follow this tutorial and you'll have the best stream settings out there.